students and parents at Gulf Shores High School. Well, it sure has several students taken away in handcuffs Wednesday and today. Twelve students were suspended. Fox 10 News reporter Candace Murphy is uncovering all the details about this. Candace, what happened? Well, Bob Alanis, the school sent out an email this morning notifying parents there had been several fights earlier this week and the suspension of 12 students for a, quote, planning a disturbance. Now, tonight I spoke with parents who say they want better communication about what's going on at their child's school. Weapons at Gulf Shores High School and a hit list targeting certain students were nothing more than rumors spread via social media, according to a spokesperson for Baldwin County Public Schools. But some parents believe the threat was real. Jessica Breland says her daughter was threatened at school yesterday. She said, you're my assignment tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm taking you down. If that's not a hit list. Wednesday, three students were arrested for fighting, and today, 12 students were suspended for, quote, planning a disturbance that was rumored to happen at the school's volleyball game. That game was canceled. My daughter sat with her phone very close all day, eyes, ears open, waiting. You know, am I going to have to call my mom at any moment to come get me? Freeland says as a parent, she should have been notified about Wednesday's fights and the rumors before this morning. For the past two days, she's come home visibly shaken for incidents that have gone on here. Hope Farrow says her daughter's name was on the rumored hit list. It's, it's got me really torn. I don't even want to send her back to school. I don't even want her there. It terrifies me. Even though she hasn't seen evidence of the list, she's told her daughter's boyfriend has received threatening text messages. Both parents say they want better communication from the school. I would like to know what is happening with my child, her friends, know that in the future things are not going to be swept under the rug, which seems to be what's happening the most here. We're a little more worried about tarnishing our reputation than empowering our parents. The school system spokesperson says the school's first priority is safety and the second is communication. He says police were investigating the social media rumors after school hours yesterday and found nothing but social media rhetoric. The 12 students who were arrested today could face criminal charges. Well, a second teenager was arrested today in connection with a